what it's like to have an unproductive day. Waking up at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning, showering, eating your breakfast till 12, really getting that start of the day kick till 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, having lunch late, and trying to figure out what really went wrong that all of your hours passed by. But what if 4 o'clock you have that boost? You work out 15 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever it takes for you to feel you have done something. And then you start. You put the timer on. You have one hour of your productive day either as your side hustle or as your study period or anything that you want. And you get on with the day. A productive day doesn't necessarily mean that you wake up early in the morning, 4 o'clock, work out. Yeah, sure, definitely. You're going to gain a lot of time. It is always recommended to do what's in your best interest. But as human beings, we can't always push ourselves. We can have those days for one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe a week, maybe a month. But we do slack off. Some people are built different. They surely can, even for 365 days, be that person. But what if you're not? What if you're different? And that's completely okay. But the thing to consider is, how does your brain function that? How does your brain process that? An unproductive day can be in the morning, but what if you have a productive afternoon? Or what if it's just your mindset? What if the society has made it a norm, has normalized that working up in the morning is more productive, not in the evening? What if your day starts in the afternoon? What if you're different? 